Hello, Candace. Hi, Miss Pay. Hi, John Luke. How are you both? Good. Yeah, doing good. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I really appreciate it. Okay. You know, Miss Pay, you wrote the book, The Robertson Family Christmas. Can you tell us about the book and what inspired you to write it? Well, of course, I've always loved books. Uh, since I was a little girl, I used to hang out in the library, and I've always loved reading books, and books are just important to me, and I hope I can make them important to everybody. But this is really a story of uh, what we've done all our lives, which is take in stray dogs and stray boys and even men. But um, this is a story of a troubled teen who comes to the Robertson family and probably has one whole thing in mind and then finds another one. So it's kind of about unconditional love and just about a family that um, puts their faith first and has fun, and loves their family, and just all about that. So I hope everybody will enjoy it. And John Luke, you're the author of the Be Your Own Doug Commander series for kids. Can you tell us about those and the lessons you hope children will learn from the books? Yeah, well, how the books are written is, is you can make your own story in it. And so every book is just a what if on top of what if, and you can choose how you want it to end. So the lesson that I really want kids to take away is one, to love to read, and two, that that's more of how life is that life is about is choices but you can always go back and and start over it's not the end of the world when you make a bad choice that's right and miss Kay and john luke you and your family are role models to so many you all are so talented did you always aspire to write fiction no i never thought i could write anything but i do love good stories And how has reading impacted your life, and how can reading impact the lives of others? Well, I think it makes you just, um, you can just enjoy about other people's stories, and uh, it just gives me a bright spot and like a light, sometime in a dark world, so I love it, I always have. John Luke can tell about it. Yeah, the same way. Um, I love it's always good to hear other people's stories, and it's it's just it's good to learn, and education is key. <laughs> and you have millions of fans around the world who love your show and look up to your family. What's the secret to having such a close knit, loving family? Well, you know, I I guess we take it for granted, but I, you know, I have always just loved people, and. Um, I try to bring that to my family, and we've been through good times and hard times, and yet we stick together because of love. So, to me, it's a key element, and uh, just our faith and our love for one another and our forgiving spirit and all things, and also to have a lot of fun and laugh is very important. So even when you mess up, sometimes we can find something funny about it. And you have a new show called Duck Commander before the Dynasty. Can you tell us about the new show? You want to talk? You want me to? Get okay. Out. Well, you know, that's just before the Dynasty. We had a before. And the thing we laugh about now is all our different hair, hairdos, and even the guys don't look as scruffy as they do now. But, you know, it's all about what it was. So we had a before, and we'll, we'll have an after. Definitely. And where can viewers go for more information and to buy your new book? They can go anywhere books are sold for our books. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Miss Kay. Thank you, John Luke. I appreciate thank you taking you. time out of your busy schedule to speak with me this morning. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great weekend. You too.